Isn't that your favorite story on T-Rail? I don't agree. Episode 11, back at you here, uh, Calvary Recap. Um, you know, there's some books in our Bible uh, that were probably written on a sheet of papyrus, one of them being uh, the book of Third John. Super quick, super short. Uh, you want to go uh, this Friday night when you're out hanging out with people, say, yeah, I would, you, would they ask you what you did this week? You're like, yeah, I read a whole book of the Bible. It's only 14 verses. There's one chapter. So Third John is what we talked about. Now, the one thing about letters, especially small letters like this, um, there's so much context of what's going on in the story. And so when you read the letter initially, you're like, what's happening? And normally the letter is a response to something going on. And that is the case for Third John. So uh, the, the, the pull it open here right here. See if you can see this. Look. You go to the party this uh, this weekend um, or at your Bible study and say, yeah, I read two books of the Bible, two pages, 2nd and 3rd John. Uh, they're really short. 3rd um, John, though, right here, uh, 14 verses. 2nd uh, John's only 13 verses. But here's the thing about 3rd John. This is a really interesting story or what we can infer from it. Um, it's lit written um, to this guy named, I don't even want to say, I might get it wrong, but Gaius, I think his name's called. And he's writing the letter to him um, in response to uh, how some missionaries, this guy named Demetrius, um, he's like, hey, Demetrius, everybody speaks really well of the guy. You should take him in. Uh, he's going to be doing some missionary work. Uh, but then he like segues in, <laughs> like I said, in, in a couple of paragraphs and talks about this whole thing that's going on with this guy named Diotrephes, who, what, what John says, who loves to be first. It's, it's a really great story. If you haven't heard the message this last week, and encourage you to go listen to it. It's pretty encouraging. But what we talked about was, as we looked at these letters, is that communities in general are complicated. Uh, we always talk about, hey, we want to be a community that uh, cleans parks up together and helps people. And uh, we want to be a community as a as as a nation and, a, and as, a, as an area. And as, you know, we want to take care of other communities. But when you really think of the word community, it's, it's kind of difficult. And what I talked about is the difficult part of community is that two parties have to work together and they have to see the other one thrive to make it work. It has to be a partnership of revolving around each other. So we talked about the complexities of community, the enemy of community, and the character of community. And um, spent a little bit of time talking about the enemy of community. I think uh, really well said here by John. He goes, uh, I write to the church, but Diotrephes, who loves to be first, will not welcome us. So when I come, I will call attention to what he's doing, spreading malicious nonsense about us. Not satisfied with that, he even refuses to welcome other believers. He also stops those who want to do so and puts them out of the church. So even an apostle dealing with people that are refusing to work together as a church. And so community is difficult. It's difficult for a lot of different reasons, and there's a lot of good reasons why it is. But one of the things that I see John writing here is that he's addressing the difficulties, but he's still pursuing those relationships and community. And so what a great thing to talk about the character of community as I kind of summed up the message. And he says, imitate what is uh, uh, not what is evil, but what is good. Anyone who does what is good is from God. Anyone who does what is evil has not seen God. And the reality of it is for us as Christians, but of us to be able to really work in community, we're imitating uh, what God has said and done. Uh, he's lived a life Jesus did that was perfect. And what he taught us was how to live and love one another. And man, what a powerful tool that is that we can live in community, but really we're to imitate what we've seen in him. And so the more that we get to know who God is and what he's like, uh, we get to see what Jesus has said about this life. Uh, it empowers us uh, by the Holy Spirit to actually live out a Christian community. And it's difficult at times when we see so many broken communities. But really what our heart should say is, hey, how can I imitate what's good? Uh, because there's a lot of people imitating what's evil. And so the encouragement here in this little recap, number 11, imitate what is good. How do we know what's good? It's those who've seen God. Um, and seeing God, as, as Jesus would say, if you've seen me, you've seen my Father. And just uh, a way that we can live and love other people and love God. So just that's the recap for here. Third John, small book. Read it today. 
And then uh, tonight when you're studying at St. Pete College or whatever you're doing, uh, you can talk about, uh, you read a whole book of the Bible today. So really cool, uh, great stuff in here. And we will see you guys next week for recap number 12. Maybe we'll bring a special guest. Who knows? Maybe. A friend of mine, Freddie. Freddie, shout out. Uh, he had went to Puerto Rico. And he's like, man, you got to try this coffee out. Let's just open it up. Ooh, it smells really good. It's, it's a kind of vacuum seal. Freddie, this is if you're from Puerto Rico. Tell me if this is a good coffee. Coffee. Comment in the comment section below. Hmm. So you can tell. Oh, that's fine. It's it's ground super fine. See it right there. I don't want to spill it on CJ's uh, computer. Oh gosh, dropped it. It's ground super fine. Freddie, I'm dude. I'm making a mess of your coffee. Dang it! Uh, but I'm gonna make some today. I I did not mean to do that. Now it's all over my book. But it smells good. So uh, recap number eleven, and we're gonna try some coffee. So um, I just spilled it everywhere though.